Welcome back. So it's now time to uh, come to our prayers together. Let us pray. Let us begin with the collect. For this, the first Sunday in Lent. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your Son battled with the powers of darkness and grew closer to you in the desert. Help us to use these days to grow in wisdom and prayer, that we may witness to your saving love in Jesus Christ our Lord. So let us pray today as uh, the advertisements are live now for us seeking a children's and families worker in the parish of Wath and the surrounding area and Brampton. Lord, we pray that your hand will be upon this process. Lord, we ask that you would call the, uh, the person of your choosing to work with us, to work with your people, to work in these communities, to bring your life and love. And we pray that your power would be manifest uh, to draw people from darkness to light. As we pray for that, we pray this prayer for church growth. God of mission who alone brings growth to your church, send your Holy Spirit to give vision to our planning, wisdom to our actions, and power to our witness. Help our churches to grow in numbers, in spiritual commitment to you, and in service to our local community. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. And on this Sunday when uh, we think of the climate, and we pray for justice and care for creation. O oh God of peace and safety, pour your peace on us and on the earth that you have created. We pray, Lord, for peace in our world and in our time. We pray for those who suffer, who do not have peace, where they face economic structures that oppress many. We pray for courage for each of us to share your life-giving love through Christ our Lord. We pray that you'd help each of us to care for your creation, to be faithful stewards and to think how we can lovingly care for that which you've given us to enjoy. We thank you for the resources that you give us from the earth, Lord. We pray that we would safeguard it. We pray that we would work together against the unwanted destruction of your creation. We thank you for the beauty of the world, for all that we enjoy as we see the signs of spring uh, springing forth now. And we pray that you would help us to value it aright and to value each other who you have made in your image. We pray for those today who suffer, who suffer mental illness, those who suffer pain on a daily basis. We pray for those who are bereaved, pray for those who are needy. And in this time, as we look forward, we pray for those who are seeking jobs, security, livelihoods and security of businesses. We pray for young people at this time, those in education and those teaching in education. We pray for a safe return to work and to college and to schools. We pray for those, Lord, who are working in health care, those who are battling the long waits for operations. We pray for those helping with the rollout of vaccines. We pray, Lord, that your will will be done and that your kingdom would come here on earth as in heaven. We pray today for those who feel forgotten, isolated and alone. And we pray for ourselves this Lent, that we would remember that you are a God of power and might, yet the one who loves us individually. And as we end, as we close our prayers together, let us say the grace together where we are. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and for evermore. Amen. May God's peace, love and power be with you and uh, those who you love at this time. If any are in need, please do get in touch. Uh, just to say that church will be open as usual on Thursdays at half past nine for an hour for private prayer and on Sunday mornings at half past ten as well for an hour. On Tuesdays via Zoom uh, at two o'clock we have a half an hour time of prayer so do join in with that even if you don't want to speak out loud uh, do, do join that for that time of encouragement and prayer together. So may God bless you and hope to see you soon uh, keep in touch. Goodbye for now. Thank you.